Hey everybody, we're going to be working on this Arabian here. She's been diagnosed with um, insulin resistance and um, currently she's on some medication to help her. Um, she's on a strict diet. Um, what that did is it caused an acute case of laminitis. Here's some x-rays here I can explain to you a little bit in detail. If you notice the coffin bone, the distance between the tip of the coffin bone to the dorsal wall is a little bit greater than the tip of the um, the top of the um, the wall of the hoof capsule. So we've got some separation here and what I went ahead and did is I backed this foot up, I pre-trimmed it, got it in good dorsal palmar balance and uh, we prepared this foot. We're going to go ahead and therapeutically shoe it. Let me show you the, the hoof itself. Again, you can see the white line, some separation here, how thick it is. I backed up this wall. I got the shoe prepared. What we're going to use is a heart barred um, shoe with the wide web uh, shoe on it. And I'll come over here and I'll show you how I prepared that shoe. You see the heart bar pad? It's got a subtle wedge to it here. This does the adequate placement on the frog to get the right amount of pressure on that frog to push that P3 right in balance where it needs to be. I got a wide web uh, shoe and I rivet this pad on so there's no slippage. Come on over and let's put it on. We'll clean this up really good because we're going to pack it with Equithane. And what I like to use is a copper sulfate Equipack. It's got copper sulfate in it and what that does is aids in any thrust buildup underneath that hoof pad. I'm also going to go a step above and I'm going to use copper nails to eliminate any thrust that may build up on that um, white line. Now if you notice where the frog is and the frog pad, it's perfect alignment, perfect placement. I'm going to back it up just a little bit so I can just gradually back this dorsal wall up so we can make sure that we have good alignment with that frog and the uh, P3, which is the coffin bone. I like to tack the, the quarter here first. This way I make sure my heel is in alignment and it's not shifting this way and it's not shifting that way. I'm going to make sure I'm perfect alignment on that heel. Looks about good. I'll tack the other quarter. Make sure I'm in alignment here. Looks really good. Let's go ahead and send these home. I'm a little sensitive to that pounding, just which is uh, understandable. I'd like to get these nails out right away. Good girl. Now what I'll do is I'll put her on the stand and back that dorsal wall up. Again, I just have a subtle breakover just sticking out. I want to just kind of subtly back that up. And what this does, if you notice those x-rays, we have that separation underneath that hoof ball. This will get it in good dorsal palmar balance. Make her feel comfortable. Looks good. Let's go ahead and send the rest of the nails. Typically I like to send the nails about a good half inch up the wall. They come out really quick, they're sharp. So I get rid of that sharpness real quick so it doesn't injure me, my leg, or her. And for the customers, point of view I get rid of the nails right away too so they don't get flat tires put them right back on my apron good girl good girl two more okay clamped on them good 
Okay. Looks really good. Let's go ahead and clinch these over and then we'll put equithane on it. Get this all nice and packed up. I like to draw a score line underneath the nails and there's a purpose for that. Not all farriers do this. When I draw that score line and I clinch it over, it sits flush to the wall. Kind of rasp any furs that may be sticking out. Could possibly scratch her, injure her. Looks good. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Draw a score line. Clinch it over. Clinch it over. Right into that valley that I just drew. Looks good. Okay, let's go ahead and equithaner and get her all ready. We'll discharge a little bit of this out. Let's slide that mixing tip all the way inside there. If I can get it in there, it's tight, tight fit. There we go. You see that mixing tip go all the way to the apex of the frog. As that material is dispensing, I'll back it up so we get even coverage. Kind of help it out here in the corner. Now as I back that up, I can seal the back end here if you want to get a closer look. This way no debris goes inside the back end of this pad and keeps it all sealed up real nice. And again this copper sulfate will keep aid in any thrust buildup underneath that pad. Looks good. This will set up in about a good two to three minutes. We'll set her foot down and the, her bearing weight will disperse this evenly. Looks perfect. You can see it's starting to gel up really good here. We'll revisit this horse in about anywhere between six to eight weeks and we'll see the prognosis. Looks good.